Hey guys, what's going on? Rod and Real Arsenal 2015. All the rods are not in view right now. I have the camera set back. It's in the shade, but it's out of the wind, so hopefully you guys can see and hear. A uh, quick update for you guys. In a week and a half, I'm moving. We close on the first, so this video and the bass boat tour will be the last two videos you see here at the storage unit. From here on out, it'll either be at home in the garage or on the lake. You know, really excited about that. It'll be real convenient to pump out videos to you guys, you know, having the boat at the house. So really excited about that. So we'll get into the rods here. Quick tip that I got from Trey Harple. The Dobbins rods, each series is a different color wrap. The Furies are green, the Savvy's red, the Champion's blue, and the DX are orange. So I match the rod glove to the series of rod. The way if I want my Savvy rods, I don't have to read the rod or look at the color wrap. I can just grab the red rod glove. If I want the Champions, I'll grab the blue. You know, if I want the DX, I'll grab the orange. So just a quick tip there. Let's go ahead and get into it though. All right, first up, we have the Dobbins Champion 685 CB, six foot, eight inch crankbait rod, it's a medium heavy. This rod is great for, um, I like it for top waters and jerk baits. It works really well with like the 110 size jerk baits. I tried throwing shad wraps on here, but it's just too much rod. Next year, I'm going to get the 685 CB for the smaller jerk baits and top waters. But 685 CB, 7.3 Tatula, that is 12 pound suffix each. Okay, we have the Dobbins Champion 705 CB, seven foot medium heavy crankbait rod. This is a Tatula 5.4, that is 14 pound Suffolk Siege. You know, square bills, DT6s, DT10s, crankbaits, you know, anything like that. So I use uh, these rods for. Line size will vary, just depending on what I'm doing with the bait or whatever bait I got tied on, but most of the time it's either 12 pound or 14 pound Suffolk Siege. Okay, same setup as before, 705 CB, Tatula 5.4. This one has 12 pound Seaguar and Vizax. Again, line will change depending on what I'm doing, but mostly, you know, square bills and BT6s, things like that. All right, same rod as before, another 705 CB. Really like this rod, seven foot medium heavy crankbait rod. We have Tatula 7.3 on here. This is 30 pound Seaguar Smackdown. I use this rod for rattle traps and top waters, uh, the THK awake bait, you know, things like that. Next, one of my favorite combos here, Savini, Savini, the <laughs> Savvy 703, the seven foot medium heavy, just a good all purpose rod. I love it for spinner baits. This is a uh, Tatula 6.3 Type R. That is 20 pound Seaguar and Vizex. Like I said, mostly I use this combo for spinnerbaits. We have another 703. This one is in the Champion. A little more sensitivity here. Good all around rod again. I use it for Texas rigs. This is, uh, like I said, seven foot medium heavy. Tatula 6.3, this is 15 pound Seaguar and Vizex. Just a good all purpose rod. Okay, then we have, I'm changing line on this one, so there's no line on the reel, but this is a 704. Same rod as before, just one power up. That was a medium heavy, this one's a heavy. And we have a 7.3 Tattoo on here. This will have, again, 15 pounds Seaguar and Vizex. Good multi-purpose rod, just for heavier weights. Next, probably one of my favorite rods, Champion 7.33. The so same, same power in action, of the 703, just three inches longer. So seven foot, three inch, medium heavy. This is a 6.3 Tatula, and this is 15 pound Seaguar and Vizex. This is a good multi-purpose rod, just a little longer length, Texas rigs, things like that. Then 
we have this is 734 so just to power up some 733 so this is a seven foot three inch heavy rod heavy power fast action it's got a zillion 73 on here this is 50 pound uh, FX2 jigs uh, spinner baits things like that mainly though this will be my swim jig rod got a new tech head on there right now love these zillion reels here probably next season I'll probably upgrade all my reels to zillions if I can afford it so that's it though awesome combo we have another 734 but in the savvy series that's rod I mainly use for like rage toads and things like that buzz baits Step down to the savvy, you really don't need the sensitivity, you know, for like a rage toad or, or a buzz bait, something like that. So 734 savvy. That is the uh, 8 1 though. This is an 8 1 Type R 50 pound FX2. From there we go to savvy. 735 so it's a seven foot three inch but it has an extra fast action it's a little faster tip on it compared to the last rod I like this one for smaller swim baits hollow belly frogs things like that zillion 73 50 pound fx2 awesome combo here love these zillions Okay, if I had to pick my favorite combo, I mean, I already said a few of these are my favorite, but this one really is my favorite. I love this combo here. This is the uh, Champion Extreme, the DX744. Awesome jig rod. I like this rod for half ounce and below. I normally throw 3 8s on here. Zillion, Zillion 7.3. This is 15 pound Seaguar Tattoo. Awesome combo here, guys. 744, so this is a 7 foot 4 inch. It's a heavy action or heavy power fast action definitely my favorite combo right here and we have the champion extreme pretty much the same rod as before but up a power this one is a mag heavy and this one here is let's see here yeah the 745 dx zillion this one has 20 pound cigar tattoo and I use this one for half ounce jigs and up so half ounce three quarter one ounce things like that another awesome combo here guys one thing I want to say too when I was first ordering my rods if you read a lot of the reviews some guys are saying if you're used to a medium heavy get a heavy just because the power of Dobbins are lighter than normal or, or lighter than or compared to other rods so if you're used to a medium heavy, they want you to get a heavy just because they feel a heavy Dobbins is more like a medium heavy. I have not experienced that. To me, if I grab a medium heavy Dobbins, it feels like a medium heavy. If I grab a heavy Dobbins, it feels like a heavy. So, you know, use your own opinion on that or ask around or whatever. But if you read a lot of the reviews, a lot of guys say that. And if I would have listened to those guys, I've been pretty upset just because, you know, to me, the medium heavy rod feels just like a medium heavy. If I would have got all heavies, you know, it wouldn't have been the action or the power that I wanted. So... Again, it's going to be a tough call for you guys, but to me, the medium heavy, the heavy, whatever power and action the rod says, to me, it's exactly what it is. So I don't believe it's lighter or heavier than what it says. I believe it's exactly what it is. So if you're looking for a medium heavy rod, order a medium heavy rod. If you're looking for a heavy rod, order a heavy. So but that's my opinion. Again, read the reviews, you know, see for yourself, but that's my opinion on it. last we have the big boy here this is a 765 flip I had a uh, fluorocarbon on here gonna put braid this is a 63 zillion again I love these zillions definitely next year as long as I can afford it I'm going all zillions but sweet combo here again flipping fishing things like that um, Carolina rigs Alabama rigs so that is all my bait casters we have 14 here Spinning rods. My spinning rods I'm probably going to sell next year. I just don't use spinning gear that much. And what I'm going to do is uh, get probably the Champion 702. 
maybe get the DX701 just for my finesse type baits and just you know put a bait caster on there, light line, and uh, just be a lot easier for me. Just because I'm just not as accurate with spinning gear, I'm just way more comfortable with bait casters and uh, just be more of a versatile setup versus spinning gear. But right now, this is the drop shot finesse rod. The Okuma TCS drop shot finesse rod, the Okuma RTX on here, 30, you guys see me review this. Sweet combo, but again, I just don't use spinning gear that much. I'm gonna switch to all bait casters next year. And this is the Okuma shaky head rod. It's a seven foot medium, I think it's a medium plus. Yeah, medium plus. That was uh, the RTX head. That was 12 pound SX1. And on the Akuma, what we got here? Uh, the CMAR, I have 8 pound uh, Cigar Senshi. That's what's on here. Sweet combo. So, guys, that is it for the Rod and Reel Arsenal 2015. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Real appreciate you guys watching, and we'll talk to you soon.